<laughs> All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello, you guys. Today is actually Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. I apologize for getting off to just a little bit of a slow, late start today. One of, one of my pet peeves in life is uh, I don't like being late. I don't like it when people are late, and I don't being like I don't like being late for other people. I always, if you're on time, you're late, and if you're early, you're on time, and if you're really early, even better. Get 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 somewhere as early as you can, and it's my mission to start this at least the hold music right at 4:30. Boom roasted right at 4:30. No 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 real surprises here. Like every streamer, hang on, technical issues galore everywhere fucking all over the place everywhere possible camera's not working suddenly oh my software's not working suddenly oh now my microphone won't turn on oh you gotta restart your computer fun 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 i don't care but welcome yes welcome to the vlog you guys um i can't do that thing anymore where i put all the timestamps down here in the bottom of the screen but for anybody watching on the replay all the timestamps should be included down in the description below but i think we have a very very full vlog this week we certainly have a beer right in front of me, which we're going to be getting to very shortly. We certainly have a retro vaping. We certainly have a random liquid tasting. I have a bunch of vape mail. I have a bunch of viewer mail. We got some favorite comments of the week, and we're going to be wrapping it up. Up what? We're going to be wrapping it all up at the end with the super chat, but welcome. Welcome live watchers. Welcome replay watchers. Welcome to the freaking vlog. I love Thursdays, and welcome to the vlog. So I think... uh I think the first thing I want to do, like right out of the gate, is do that thing that I do. That's my new favorite thing where I hear from one of my subscribers. Um, if anybody out there has a video that they want to send in and have featured on this here vlog video, um, definitely send them over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. You can just mark your subject that that one thing or that one thing you do. It looks like I'm not staying in focus, huh? I look really super out of focus. Holy shit. Come on, camera, just, can you just, yeah, the center, yeah, here on, uh, yeah. All right. Well, now I appear to be in focus. Don't you just, don't you just love technical issues, like just technical issues that just happen and pop up and then you just, it's whatever, you just deal with it. So anyway. Back to the vlog, my favorite thing that I love to do where I hear from one of my freaking subscribers. Uh, right now, we are briefly, I mean, very briefly, going to hear from, uh, from John. In fact, let me mute my mic. Hey, Grant. Hey, Grant. John Moore here. Just want to know if I can get a quick shout out. And thanks to your vlog, I broke out the new thing. Have a good day. Really? That was the world's quickest... That was the world's quickest subscriber video, but thank you very much, John, for the kind words. I'm glad you gr you dug out your Mew tank again. I'm glad you're using it. Absolutely. John, you are 100% shouted out. John's been a longtime subscriber. I've exchanged many, many emails with John. He's sent in some stuff before. This was the most recent. John, welcome to the vlog, and uh, I appreciate it. And like I said, anybody that has any videos that you want to shout out you want to shout out your shop you want to shoot you want to shout yourself out you want to talk about your gear you want to tell your story you want to shout out other youtubers all good send them on over to nick at grimgreen.com but right now now that that is out of the way i think after all of that i'm sweating i'm sweating out of my armpits and of course all of your technical issues happen like you know one minute before you're gonna start your video. So I'm in here and like huffing and puffing and my poor dog is just terrified. And I like, you know, I did that angry thing where you like take off your hoodie. Like you're like, come on. And I like throw my hoodie down on the ground and I'm like, come on computer. And like, when did, when did Mac started being, when did Mac start being awful? That's a question for the chat and the comments. When did Mac start being awful? Because Mac used to rule, and I used to love it, and now I hate it. I, I hate it, and, and I wish I didn't have it no more. Anyway, what we're going to do right now to sort of just calm down a little bit, oh, that's right, we're about to do some beer. Hmm. 
<laughs> this is my little luchador uh, bottle opener Casey Pickle got me. It's kind of one of my favorite things in the world. I used to have a snap-on bottle opener, but it broke, <laughs> which is weird. I was gifted a snap-on bottle opener at the 2014 VaporCon West event, and I used it for years. Then... One day, just broke. But who cares? We're here to drink beer. And the beer I have today is in honor of the Royal College of Physicians. This is in honor of Public Health England. This is in honor of the United Kingdom government. This is in honor of every vapor in the UK. This is in honor of every metalhead in the UK and across the world. Today, we're going to be drinking some Trooper. Oh. Trooper, premium, premium British beer. We got the Trooper. We got the Iron Maiden beer, the Trooper. I believe this was, I believe this was from uh, Smacks as well. I believe this is a Tyra from Smacks beer. So I'm gonna have my little luchador hump the bottle here. Ha! Now we're good to go. I'm gonna pour this into a tulip style glass. Let's see if we can figure out any information about this Trooper beer. Uh, brewed in Cheshire, England. Premium British beer. It's only a 4.7, which is good. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, there's a whole uh, paragraph of stuff on the back here. Launched in 2013, Trooper is an award-winning premium British beer that has sold over 15 million pints worldwide. Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson worked with Robinson's to develop the beer, which has a true depth of character, malt flavors, and citrus notes from unique blend of Bobeck, Goldlings, and Cascade hops dominate the deep golden ale with a subtle hint of lemon. Sounds good. Let's pour it into a beer. Enough talking, more drinking. Oh shit, it's darker than I thought it would be. I genuinely thought this would be a little bit lighter of a beer in color and uh, uh, I can't think of the word. Not viscosity, but like, uh, you know, transparency. It's pretty dark. That's kind of a, it's a little bit of a darker, uh, darker-ish beer. It's got like that, you know, that soft amber sort of color, cu color. Belsnickel is nigh. Anyway, I've just been going like crazy. And that last little 10 minutes before the, before the vlog really flustered me. So I'm going to drink some beer and I'm going to calm down a little bit. I hope everybody joining me tonight has something delicious that they're drinking, something delicious that they're vaping. Cheers. This is literally to you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's a legit beer. It's a good, legit beer. Um, I would say that this is a sessionable beer, both in alcohol by volume and just, just flavor. It comes on strong. It's got a real upfront, like, super sort of multi multi flavor. It kind of just fades away into nothing. It's a surprisingly, surprisingly clean beer. It's good. This is a beer, this Trooper beer, <coughs> pardon me, burp life. This Trooper beer is a beer, I feel like this is a beer that I could just continuously drink. I mean, I guess that's why they call it sessionable, but it's real, uh, it's real non-intimidating. It's real easy drinking, real sessionable. It, it's delicious. And this is one of those things like if I was at a bar in the UK and they had Trooper, I would just drink that. I'd be like, another Another trooper. I'm going to knock out another trooper there. Give me another trooper. Let's do this trooper. Now, as far as like a pairing, I think I have a pairing that might work. Yeah. Still rocking this, uh, this ridiculous thing just because I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I like both of these things separately. So I just assumed that I would like them together, but they look ridiculous that is 100% ridiculous but this is loaded up with fall delight from aria <coughs> pardon me and i was just telling ruby Row on the podcast the aria salt nick is one of the few salt nicks that i can really vape and enjoy and get a good flavor like a good vaping experience from it's not harsh it doesn't hit me weird so let's try it this is fall delight with the trooper what Yeah, dude. I mean, that's good. It's real good. It's like, uh, you know, 
tobacco and tobacco and beer. It's it's just one of those things that uh, at least when I was a smoker, PBR and 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 cigarettes was all I ever wanted. And I think this this is like a, this is like a much better version of cigarettes and beer. Baller. Baller. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good pairing. Fall Delight is a really good like beer pairing. Uh, liquid, I-, I think it goes really well with a lot of stuff. But, uh, man, we're kind of tearing through this trooper. So let me just top myself off here. And uh, I think that's going to wrap up this here beer segment. Let me just have another, quite another little taste here. I'm not going to look on Beer Advocate. I've looked on Beer Advocate before. And th- look, there's a lot of like snobby beer people and i'm not saying that anybody here or myself is a snobby beer person but there are snobby beer people who don't appreciate things like the trooper who don't appreciate things like a cold pbr who don't appreciate things like a miller high life or or i don't know heineken i guess look i like a lot of uh i like a lot of cruddy cheap beers and i appreciate them for what they are because they're not trying to be anything they're not. Miller High Life is not trying to be a bourbon barrel aged Belgian quad with cherry pigment. Pigment? Cherry skins in it. It's just trying to be Miller High Life, man. So just let Miller High Life be Miller High Life. I appreciate Miller High Life. I appreciate the trooper. I don't care what anyone on Beer Advocate says. Mmm. And it's good. We're off to a good start. This is going to be a good beer for this vlog. Okay, so real quickly, what I wanted to do right now is just, uh, I should really have a bumper for this, but I just wanted to real quickly talk about what I've been vaping. I guess first things first, it's the E-Leaf Basal with the K-Fun Mini. Uh, I set this up a few weeks ago, I guess, on the retro vaping, and I've just been using it kind of nonstop. It, it, it feels like this tank sits on here loose. And that bums me out. I think the 510 in my Basal is going out, which is honestly kind of a bummer because as ridiculous as this is, uh, as it looks, damn, it's good to vape. Damn, it's good to vape. Oh, it's so good. So good. Um, another mouth to lung I got set up. Another K-Fun. K-Fun Light Plus. This is on the old Axis Vapes M17 Mini Single. 21700. Uh, it never got a lot of use before, but now the K-Fun sits on it and it gets, it's got the more, it's got more use in the last two weeks than it has in the last two years. Beautiful. That's loaded up with uh, 12 milligram water Malone. Also, still heavily rocking that BMI Touch, the Grim Green Casa Fundraiser Edition, Falcon King on top, DHD Nub Tip on top, Rocket Blast on the inside. This this one's been around for a while. This one's been around for a few vlogs now. It's just awesome. The Falcon King is uh, well, it's the king. It's the king. Um, also, of course, this thing's probably never going to go away. Topside Jenna combo. Um, I'm thinking about changing out the juice on the inside. Right now, it is Lick It. And I would kind of like Pony on Acid to be in here, like maybe if I could. 50 watts, single coil on the inside, 0.19. Dude, the Jenna. Ugh. The Jenna. It's so good. Every time I vape the Jenna, every single freaking time I vape the Jenna, it just makes me happy. That first, like, pull, that first toot, whatever you call it, I call it a toot. That first toot, it's so good. God, it's so good. Good God, it's so good. Um... Also, another Falcon King tank set up, Vaptasia Killer Custard on the inside. This is the V-Zone E-Mask, which in and of itself isn't a particularly fancy or nice mod, but it's just one of those things. I, I really like it. I- I've told this story so many times, and I'm using a freaking rainbow tank on top. What? Rainbow tank on top? That's insane. And I've told this story a thousand times, but... I watched Matt's review of this, 
and I just became fascinated with it. I was like, wow, that looks like a really good like banger mod. And then when he was in Irvine um, with Daniel not too long ago, he brought it with him and I held it and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting one of those. So at ECC, I tracked down V-Zone, got myself an E-Mask. Also, this thing is completely water resistant, which I don't know if that's important to people. It's never really been like a crucial selling point for me, I guess, to have a water resistant mod. But this one is 100% water resistant. Baby Ness. Oh, I just love this little stupid little single 21700 Baby Ness guy topped with the gear RTA. This is loaded up with coil turds, a, a, a liquid for vaping, the peach tea lemonade. I had this last week. In fact... Everything is a repeat. Everything is a repeat. The only thing... Oh, there's one thing that's different. But we'll get there in a second. Good. It's just... It's just really, really super good. Um, I'm still hanging out with this guy. Because I like this juice so much that I don't want to take it out of this bottle this week. So... We have another RDA that we're going to be tasting some juice out of. I genuinely enjoy this strawberry from Down Under. Or... What's it called? Strawberries Down Under so much I'm really sorry dude you guys that one was right in the microphone and I'm really sorry but I like that strawberries from down under so much it's just damn it's just a really good liquid mic vapes mic vapes re 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 curve RDA on top of that beautiful beautiful lazy vapors wooden box mod squonker single 21 700 I love it. And whatever coil I have in here, which it's kind of a bummer that I don't remember, it is the nicest little crackly coil. God, it's good. Fuck, that's good. This is really good, and I just really like this juice. I just want... This is all I want to vape. All the rest of you fuckers can go away. This is all I want to vape. This juice is so good. Uh, good. Real, real good. Real, real good. I saw that Ruby Roo's in the house, so... Aspen freaking Motco Monarch! This is Atlantis. Topped with that Mike Vapes Rebirth RDA. DHD nub tip on top. Uh... Hooch Pure Banana on the inside. This is, you know, this is my daily banger. This is my staple. This is my vape, man. And I've kind of been itchy to get a new RDA on here. Like, look, don't get me wrong. The Rebirth is fucking rad, and it served its purpose to me for a very long time. But I feel like I'm going to give it a little bit of a break, and I'm hoping that... I don't know. I kind of want something new. I'm hoping I get... I'm hoping there's some a new RDA or something in here. If not... You know what? I'll, I'll dig through the retro vapes and I'll put a new RDA on here. But the rebirth time might have might have come. It, it's going to come back, but it might have it might have passed just for now. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Um, I also have. Okay, see, here's the thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to go on a rant right now or not. I, w I was planning on it, and now I'm rethinking it, but I kind of want to... I mean, I feel like I should... I want to say something about it. Although I haven't heard back from a person that I need to hear back from. Fuck it. We're just going to do it. So, it was like two weeks ago. The last thing I'm vaping is this, this dumb thing. This is the Twister. And it was like two weeks ago that I got the Twister in the mail, and I used it, and I was using it, and I really like the vape that this twister gives me. I really like the coil heads. Uh, I think Freemax makes good coil heads. That's all there is to it. And I don't mind the graphics on this one. The graphics on all of these other twisters are bad. <laughs> you guys, these, these are bad. This is everything that we've been fighting against being in the vape industry. Like... People, myself included, have been ranting and ranting and ranting for years about poorly branded things, IP theft and the like, and poorly branded juice bottles, and poorly branded this, that, and the other. I can't, this I can't defend. 
This I can't defend in any capacity. This battery, this battery looks like a toy. You can't look at this battery and tell me it doesn't look like a toy. This is, this is obscene. I don't want this in any capacity in the vape industry. I don't want a public health official to hold this up at a hearing and go, explain to me how you guys aren't marketing to kids. Look at this battery. This looks like a toy, Freemax. I don't, I, am I way off base here? I don't feel like we should be putting up with this as, an, as a community or as an industry. Having this kind of shit, I can't defend this. That looks like a toy. The other ones look very similar. And there was another reviewer who will remain nameless, but this other reviewer got these same twisters with slap bracelets included in them. Slap bracelets. Am, I mean, I'm, I, am I way off base here? I, I, can't, I can't in good conscience support, support that. I just can't. And I'm sorry, Freemax. And I'm sorry if you're really into the Twister. And look, the Twister is a, a good vape. But there are also other really good vapes out there. Better vapes. And I don't think, uh, I don't think we should be supporting Freemax or the Twister. I think it's a, I honestly think it's, I honestly think it's really bad for the vape industry. I think it's really bad, especially for the public image of the vape industry right now. Are you kidding me? With all of this scrutiny, I mean, look, there may be a time for this later. That's not for me to decide. But I know right now, this is not good. That's not good, dude. That looks like a toy. It looks like a toy. I would love to get your thoughts in the chat. I would love to get your thoughts in the comments down below. Personally, I would just 100%, no matter how good it vapes, I would 100% steer clear of the twister. And that's the bummer part, is Freemax makes good stuff, and their tanks vape really well, but I can't, that's something I can't look past. That's something I completely cannot look past. I'm sorry, Freemax, and I'm sorry that that was a little bit of a weak rant, but I don't feel like I'm way off base here. I feel like, I feel like this is something that is not non, non good, and I'm, I'm surprised that uh, other people aren't kind of put off by that at all i haven't heard anything about the, the twisters nobody said geez look at these graphics on the twister don't you think that kind of looks like a kid's toy no one said anything remotely like that and when the fda is accusing us of marketing to kids and then freemax releases a twister mod that literally looks like a toy i don't think we can i don't think i completely agree with you vic in the chat the industry can't afford to have iffy branding at this point it can't. And look, I'm not against fonts and bright colors and cool shit. And I like dope stuff. I don't like this. And it's not because I don't like it. It's because look at that logo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is that is beyond iffy. That is beyond iffy. That logo is beyond iffy. So that's going to end the rant. I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize. I like going on a little bit of a rant every once in a while, but that's going to end the rant. That's why there's no Twister review. That's why I'm not going to use the Twister anymore. I, I, go away. Go away, Twister. No more Twisters. No more Twisters with these graphics. That is ridiculous. And if they ha and there's look, there's some of them like this one. It's not terrible. It's just got lightning bolts on it. And there's like, a, you know, an iPod and a and a purse. Is that a hot dog? I'm pretty sure there's a hot dog on here. Does that look like a hot dog to anybody else? Right there. That right there is a hot dog, right? Why is there a hot dog? On? What is that? What is that? Why is there a hot dog on here? So I guess the point of what I'm saying is uh, I'm not going to review the Twister. Because Freemax should know better, man. And they've been around. They're not new to this. They've been around for years. They can't, I mean, you can't claim ignorance being around the vape industry that long, seeing the issues that we're constantly facing, and then getting the bright idea to release that. 
that that upsets me more than the Vupu stuff. That upsets me more than all of the Vupu stuff combined. That upsets me. That is just God. That's irresponsible. It's just irresponsible. Sorry. It's just irresponsible. But good. So that's what I've been vaping. Let me have some more beer. Let's let's calm down. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, it's good. That's a good one. It's a good one. So, now that we're done with beer, I think it's time to jump into this. I have some vape mail. Except where is my good knife? Yeah. This is my favorite knife. Uh, I need to get it sharpened, but it's still my favorite knife. You know, we're on uh, we're on the Chinese New Year now, and so there's no DHL packages, which is weird. It's a weird feeling not not getting DHL packages from China, but there is no DHL China packages in here. Um, there is something from UL. There is some other interesting stuff. I don't know. We're just going to tear into this. I know there's some stuff in here that isn't vape mail or isn't uh, vape mail, vape related in any way. But this is from uh, you well. Just always a mess. This is from you well. I don't know what they got out. Uh, two lanyards. Okay. The Cali Burn. What? The Cali Burn? The UL Cali Burn? That can't be what it's called. Is that what it's called? Oh shit, look at that. It's a pod. UL did a pod. Um, everybody's doing pods? Getting a little sick of pods? Trying to get super sick of pods. I'm a little sick of pods. But it's interesting that you well did a pod. I'm interested to try that out. And not only that, but there are these uh, very fancy pens that are also uh, styluses. A little, a little stylus right there. A little Apple Pencil stylus. And a pen. All right. So we got a you well <sighs> Caliburn. I don't, that's the, that's a Caliburn, 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 the UL Caliburn, there you go, this, I believe, Royal Mail, this might be from the UK, this might be, uh, does Canada use the Royal Mail as well, I thought they did, and that's not how this box opens. Oh, cut towards your body, not towards your body. Even though I just definitely cut towards my body directly. <sighs> Why is this the hardest box in the world to open? Ah. Ooh, it's from the UK. There's a note. Let's see what this literature says. Champ! Uh, it's the champ sauce. So you can follow Champ at uh, It's the Champ Sauce. Just bubble wrap. That alone is a gift. What is, what is this, Champ? What do we got here, Champ? What is this, Champ? Looks to be uh, liquids. And guess what it's named? Boosh. Champ Sauce. <laughs> it's called Champ Sauce. This one's called the... Sh What's this one called? Title Shot. Champ Sauce. Oh, okay, I get it. Champ. Champion. Champ Sauce. The Title Shot. This one is called... It's the Champ. And this one is called TKO. All right, well, it looks like I have some UK liquid. This is, oh, it's a 50 mil. So it's short fills, short fills, short fills from the UK. Yep, that's a thing. Short fills from the UK. The problem is I get a bunch of these short fills and I don't have, uh, 
I don't have a lot of Nick shots. I'm gonna be using a Nick shot tonight for the e-liquid tasting, but I just don't have a lot of Nick shots. And I need more Nick shots. See this one, I don't know, I don't know who it is or where it came from either. This is from Dale. This is from a fella named Dale. Um, God, Dale? The name doesn't sound super familiar. But then again, like, I just... It's okay. I'm bad with names. I'm just super bad with names. Even my patrons, I don't even remember their names. I just remember their screen names. The only one of my patrons that I know by heart, Dan Mansfield. 100%. Oh, my Lanta, Dan Mansfield. What is this? Dale, oh, oh, this said Dale. Dale, from the Toonie live show. From Toonie's live show? What did you send me? Okay, so first of all, there's a bottle of like DIY liquid, which I love getting DIY liquids. Rum, Coke with a hint of lime. What, Dale? What? Rum, Coke with a hint of lime. I just want to... I'll be damned. That tastes exactly like a rum and Coke with lime. Call that the chupacabra. Dang. All right, so I got some DIY liquid. And there's also a, a, a TM24 here. What? Is this an actual TM24? You didn't have to get me a TM24, bro. Oh, okay. It, good. It's not a TM24. I was like, you know, I, dude, I know Kent. I don't, you don't, no one needs to send me anything, Twisted Messes. Sick. Sick. Addy. Sick. Sick. That is a modified, what I believe to be a K-Fun clone of some sort. But this looks like a, uh, this looks like a Toonie heat treated, designed in Russia. Yeah, this is a Russian, Russian 91 or a full on uh, K-Fun clone. I we'll just want to see how we wicked it and built it on the inside. And uh, Toonie, Toonie, you sent, oh, there's like a, wow, there's like a legitimate fused Clapton in there. Um, he also modified the uh, juice flow to flow in more freely into these larger holes right there, I guess because of the Clapton coil. Well, sick. And it's even got kind of a little bit of a bell cappy situation on there. Dude, thank you. Thank you, and there's a yellow cap, and, 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 a, and a foggy cap, and spare O-rings. Shit, man. That's fantastic. There's some coils in here, too. These are, uh, yeah, these are for the K-Fun. Crazy. Crazy, dude. Awesome. Dang, I'm stoked. Let's read this note. Let's read this literature. Oh, it's, yeah, it is Toonie. I didn't, Toonie, is your name Dale? Don't tell me that your name's Dale and I didn't know this whole time. See, this is that thing. I call Toonie, Toonie. Toonie's not Dale. Toonie's Toonie. I call Toonie, Toonie, because his name is Toonie. <laughs> Cheers, Toonie. Toonie, you're, you're too nice, Toonie. Uh, Toonie is the man. Toonie is 100% the man. If you're not following Toonie on social media, if you're not aware of all the greatness that is Addy Toonie, thank you so much for being a pillar in the community or making a difference uh, for the 510 report. Thank you, Toonie. There is a three-quarter height K Fun Light Plus EH Pro clone version uh, with smoothed out airflow, better juice flow, and I put a dual fuse 28 gauge Clapton uh, with 38 gauge Nichrome 80 in it. Comes out to 0.44. I put in the, I put in the, I put in the, guh, flat build. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
the screws file off one of the negative side. Uh, I know you run your AFC screw open, so I put Teflon tape around it to keep it in place. I included some extra coils and deck screws. Tooney. Tooney, Tooney, thank you. I, Tony, I, Tony, I owe you a lot. I owe Tooney a lot. Tooney is a, a wonderful man. So kind, so generous, so gracious. Thank you, Tooney. And you know, I ha I feel really, really guilty right now because I have not even filled up, I haven't even tried out those sirens that you sent over. Next week, I'm going to make it a point to have a Tooney segment where we're going to try the k and we're going to try the sirens. And that's all I have to say about that. And we're going to try them with his liquids. One of them being rum and coke with a hint of lime. Rum and coke with a hint of lime. I'm, a, I'm just glad that juice exists. And B, I'm glad that I have it. And three, thank you, Toonie. Thank you. Thank you, Toonie. Now this one. Oh. I know what's in here. Let's just open it. I was gonna be like, oh, let's save it till the end. But no, I know what's in here. It's cool. It's cool, I know what's in here. And this is dope. This is something I might, uh, I might put together. I might put together. Oh, baby. Anybody recognize that logo? Anybody? Anybody recognize that logo? Reload Vapor USA. Boosh. Oh, yeah. Slick. That is slick. That is very, very slick. This is the new one from Reload Vapor. I don't even know what it's called. It doesn't have a name or anything on it. It just says Reload. This device is advanced users. Reload. Keep out of reach of children. Thank you for choosing. I don't know what this atomizer um, is called. The reload. Yeah, I got number 69. How great is that? <laughs> got number 69, bro. So this is the newest thing from Reload Vapor. I don't know what the name of it is. It's not anywhere on the. Uh, it's not anywhere on the packaging. How do you adjust this AFC? That's what I want to know. How do I get this cap off of here? That's also what I want to know. <sighs> okay. So that's a damn thing. Look at that deck. It's a little reminiscent, I guess, of the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's the, it's a little reminiscent of the mic vapes. It looks a little bit like the recurve just because of the way that the airflow is set, right? The airflow is kind of set in that hoopy pattern with the airflow holes directly on the side there. It is a little bit recurvy. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's got a kind of a postless deck, although there is a little bit more of a juice well in there. I don't know if this is designed for single or dual coils. I feel like it's a single coil banger. Like I feel like you could put a big, uh, big, big, big four millimeter single coil in there, big three millimeter single coil in there. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know how this AFC adjusts. It doesn't adjust externally. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just really bizarre. Wait, why does this part screw off? This is a, oh, and I left it zoomed in. <laughs> okay, so that comes off for some reason. This is a little bit of a uh, confusing little atomizer here, man. It looks like the AFC is internal, yeah. AFC's internal right there. So it's got this insert that is the AFC on the inside and it locks into little notches and then this gets screwed down on top of it to kind of keep your AFC in place, I guess? Anyway, interesting. Well, shit, I was wishing for a new RDA. So maybe this is what will end up on the Aspen Modco Monarch. Interesting. 
It's always just weird trying to fiddle around with an RDA like right out of the box when all of the O-rings are, you know, dry and you're trying to adjust things and pull things apart and kind of investigate. And I feel like RDAs don't really work really well, like the AFC and the O-rings and things like that until it gets, until it starts getting used. You know what I mean? Until some heat gets in there, until some liquid gets in there. I feel like I'm not going to be able to even properly talk about this RDA because I don't know what's going on. There's like a weird chamber in there for the thing and then another thing and the matte black one looks so dope. The matte black one looks so dope. So dope. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're right, Sifu. Sifu in chat, you're absolutely right. I should be saving. I should be saving the M Turk V2. I should be saving the M Turk V2 for the for the monarch. Um, but I didn't get it yet. I didn't I haven't seen it yet. So this is one of the packages that's confusing me, and I really want to open it because it's it's in it's in a big uh, it's in a big long box, and it's just so very strange. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, there are some stickers. This is from. Ian, Ian, Ian sent this over. Ian, what'd you send me, Ian? You know, I've, I've only ever known one man in my life named Ian. Oh, this is art, dude. Holy shit. This is fucking cool. Bro. Did you paint this, Ian? Is this a painting? If this is a painting, come on. Come on. That is that is some cool shit right there. That is a recoil. It appears to be an OG recoil on top of a stainless mech lightsaber blade emitting from the drip tip. And I, it, you're not going to be able to appreciate this, but this is a painting. Let me get it off the glare. This looks like an originally painted painting. Let's get rid of the glare there. This is kind of unbelievable. This is so... This is the coolest thing I've ever owned. I mean, not ever in my whole life, but certainly in this year. Certainly, I mean, holy shit. Well, I got to find a place for it now. We got to find a place for it on the wall because this is this is going to get hung right away in my house. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ian, Ian Hubbard Art. Let's pimp out the Ian Hubbard Art a little bit. Ian Hubbard Art, uh, ianhubbardart.com. That's E N H U B B A R D Art dot com hubbard you can find him on instagram at ian hubbard art uh ian hubbard art at yahoo.com painter designer performer and his catch line is this is fucking cool ian hubbard visions outside the tesseract <laughs> that's cool ian holy shit ian thank you thank you for this Thank you for this painting. Thank you for the stickers. Thank you for being an artist and, and sharing your art. I mean, I, I can't say for sure, but it looks like an original to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not an original. But that really looks like an original to me. Maybe it's a printing. I mean, maybe it's a reproduction. Maybe it's like a Jaclay. Fuck, that's cool. And there's like imperial symbols down the side. This is rad. This is rad. Thank you, Ian. This is rad. Um, let's put it on camera. We'll put it like right here for now. Boosh. There you go, Ian. Awesome. Appreciate that so much. I You can't appreciate it. It's really well done. Like the recoil, the RR on the recoil RDA, They it looks... I mean, I'm not an artist... But it's like recessed with the way that he did the shadowing and the highlighting. It looks, 
It's got that real set back, you know, look to it. Fuck, that's cool. Fuck, that's cool, Ian. Thank you. And thank you for the stickers. I'm so pumped on that. So pumped on that. All right. Let's get this one. This is uh, from Ohio. I think this is liquid. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Oh, for all the puppy love, the old dog and old dog love here. This is from Mean Old. Okay, that was really gross and it kind of came out of nowhere. Mean Old Dog Vapes. Mean Old Dog Vapes. What do we got? Oh, Ben. It just showed up, Ben. It just showed up, Mean Old Dog Vapes. Look at that. Ben. This liquid is named Ben. I, I've actually been really looking forward to this. And um, he hit me up recently and asked if I had tried Ben. And I said, no, I don't think so. But I didn't have it. And I got it now. Ben. And there's a dog on the label. Thank you. Thank you, old, 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 old man dog vapes. Old man dog vapes. Casey Pickle, I don't know why you're texting me right now, but let's all pause the vlog and take some time and answer the Casey Pickle text messages because that's what you do. You answer your wife right away. Do we have a plug for our bathtub? She wants to take a bath and she doesn't know if we have a plug for our bathtub. I don't believe we do. Also, I'm streaming. <laughs> she immediately responded and was like sorry i just realized what time it was and i hope the vlog is kicking ass i love you cool thanks casey pickle i love you like crazy we don't have a stopper for the bathtub unfortunately what are you gonna do no baths for pickle tonight let's continue on let's let us continue as we were ben here's what i'm gonna do with ben we're gonna put ben into the han solo cabinet and we are gonna wait to eat, drink, to drink, Ben. Never do that. Never do that. We're going to wait to vape Ben for a future very random liquid tasting, I think, is the way that we're going to go. So this, I don't know. I don't know why I ever tr even try to figure it out. I'm like, eh, just fucking open it. That'll, that'll, you'll learn who sent it from faster if you just open it. Instead of trying to look at, Horrible handwriting and weird origin countries and Shenzhen, China. <gasps> Whoa. All right. Uh, okay. I This is something 100% that I cannot show on YouTube. And I'm not just saying that to like build any sort of hype or make everybody go bananas. But this is literally something I cannot show on YouTube right now. Just right now. Later, maybe. Right now, 100% not. I'm just going to look at it again. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is not ready for YouTube. This is not ready for public consumption. But I am overly excited about it. Um, I just want to say that if this was ready for public consumption this would 100% be what I set up in the vlog this week. 100%. Um, but I apologize. It is not ready for public consumption. Um, I didn't see who it was from. I didn't see who it was from, so I could have avoided opening it, but it is, it is definitely not ready for public consumption yet. But we'll get there. You know, when it is... When that is ready for public consumption, I'm going to refer to this vlog. I'm going to say, remember my Valentine's Day vlog, which, by the way, happy Valentine's, everybody. Obviously, we don't have a lot of plans if we're all hanging out on YouTube, and that's perfectly, you are welcome. You are welcome here. Casey's at work. I'm just alone on Valentine's Day. But there's kind of, I mean, I don't really, I would really rather not be anywhere else than right freaking here. This package... This package is a package that I am uh, very, very excited about. Let's just say that. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to say who it's from just yet, but you'll see in a second. 
Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so less excited about that, more excited about this. So this is a big old box of cotton. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers swag, but I was using swag cotton for a hot minute. In fact, I used some swag cotton today just out of randomness, just out of randomness. I reached in there and I had no cotton bacon. So I was like, all right, well, swag. And so I've been using swag and swag's good. Here, hang on. But let me talk about swag real fast. I have swag in this, uh, in this goat because... I don't know. I've been really like uh, fiddly lately, like uh, fiddly, especially with the goat stuff. Like I just like fiddling with stuff. And like, do you ever just do vape just nonsense, like vape nonsense science? Like you just look at an RDA and you go, I think I could fit some four and a half millimeter coils in there. Boom. And you do it. Or I, I put some three and a, I put some four millimeter AJ Holland coils in my original recipe recoil and squonked with it just as like a test, just as like an experiment. So I've been fiddling around with like higher ohm stuff. These are some 0.3 AJ Holland coils at well over a hundred Watts. And this has the swag cotton in it. The whole point of this was this has the swag cotton in it. And uh, it's loaded up with, uh, that's Eric right there. That's Deep Cuts freaking Dragon Shake. And it's it's crazy. I haven't vaped series in a really long time. I think I'm gonna put this atomizer at a 0.3 on a series, but as it stands right now, I've got it at a hundred Watts. And it's weird. It's just real, it's just real weird. It's interesting to me to see the difference, you know, the different uh, experiences you get depending on just tiny little things. Like how tightly you wick your cotton inside of your coil will completely change the vape. I mean, completely change the vape. Adjusting your airflow just a little bit can change your vape. Adjusting your airflow in combination with like maybe dropping your wattage down or bumping your wattage up can completely change the vape. And so, I don't know, I geek out and I get real fascinated by that. And so that's 100% what this setup is right now. This is the goat with the new cap and the dead rabbit deck on the inside. There's AJ Helen coils and there's Dragon Shake. And the point of all of this was that there's swag cotton in here as well. <laughs> and it's good. It's not bad. Here's what I've learned about uh, this particular Dragon Shake liquid. Eric, I hope you got some pretty thick skin right now. Here's what I've learned about Dragon Shake. Um, it's awesome. <sighs> Dude, it's so good. This is a fucking amazing juice. And it, what it does is it holds up better at low wattages. That's what I'm finding out with a lot of liquids is even my favorite liquids like Pony on Acid on a series, it kind of just doesn't the flavor doesn't hold up to that temperature. It's like some of these liquids that have been around for years and years, they just they just don't hold up at really high temperatures. Unfortunately, Dragon Shake is just one of those that doesn't hold up at this high of a temperature, which not many juices could, to be fair. It's so hot, so hot. So anyway, the point of all of that was swag cotton was in there and this evidently is the newer swag cotton. This is swag supreme cotton. Um, I don't know how to turn open up this little display here because I really want to I really want to display this like it's a retail store. Nah, I just fucked it up. That's fine. That's what you do. You just you fucking tear open a box. Swag Swag freaking prime, not prime, <laughs> supreme. We have swag supreme and cotton bacon prime. There we go. Let's take a look at this swag. Oh, oh, it feels already 100% different. Feels a lot more like uh, native wicks. It's got, uh, it feels like there's a little bit of rayon in this cotton as well. It's got that like, you know, when you squeeze it, it does that like, I'm gonna, can you put this on the microphone? Can you hear this? Give me a one in the comments if you can hear this. But I think that you'll be able to hear this. 
It's got like that, like when you step on fresh snow, like that scrunchy. Yeah, exactly. It's like walking on snow. Yeah, cotton ASMR. Just be like, this cotton is really squishy. You want me to do some ASMR videos? Anyway, that's what it that's what it feels like. I'm interested to use this cotton swag supreme. I always like trying out new stuff, new cottons. It's like I said, man, change up your vape. You can you can customize it. You can change it however you want. You can use any cotton you want. You can you can you can change it up. And this this is what I'm truly truly pumped about. Truly pumped about because this package with the swag supreme came from i mean legend southern california legend apaca apaca designs if you're not following him on instagram what are you doing not following him on instagram he carves he hand carves um doors and and mod parts and things out of like bone it's like a very like uh you know uh oh look at that yeah and this is an orion that he caught look at this look how beautiful this is that's bone and he carved there's like a, a traditional like island tribal right there that that is the coolest loss vape orion on earth um other side it's just sort of like a uh, a matte black and these are they make it uh, a little bit thicker and a little bit weightier i i can't wait where's my pod i just had a uh i just had a pod here it is let's see if this pod works come on garbage okay no I think this pod is a dud, and that bums me out because this is my last Lost Vape Orion pod. <sighs> and it's a dud. And I've tried it on three different Lost Vapes, and it, uh, Lost Vapes, on three different Orions, and it just, whenever I use it, whenever I try to press the button, it just flashes purple at me once and then dies. And that's a bummer because I don't have any more Orion pods. So now I have this dope, I have the single dopest lost vape orion on planet earth in my possession that i totally totally cannot use so looks like i'm gonna be buying some uh <laughs> looks like i'm gonna be buying some orion pods because damn i want to use that damn hell ass i want to use that all right well i don't have anything uh really to set up I mean, I don't want to sit here and build that reload. Here's what I'll do. Here's what we're going to do. Toonie. We're going to take a page out of, uh, I don't know, nobody's book, I guess. I'm not quite sure where I was going with that. But what we're going to do in, in, in lieu of setting up something new, because look, the reload vapor thing is dope, but it's complicated and I need to spend a lot of time with it in order to get it up and running properly, I feel. Loss Vape Orion, super dope. Nothing we haven't seen before, though. And I don't have a pod for it. The UL pod system, it's a pod system. I I have a lot of pod systems, and setting up another pod system right now doesn't really doesn't really do it for me. Doesn't really doesn't really. What did Bender say in the Breakfast Club? What did he say about? Oh yeah, it doesn't really pump my nads. <laughs> I'm keeping this note from Toonie. The idea of another pod system doesn't really pump my nads right now. So I am going to vape this modified Toonie K-Fun Light Plus. Oh. 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 Mouth to lung, mouth to lung, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna put it on this, and that might actually look kind of dope. Look at this little wake guy. Look at that. Is that that kind of works. It's blue, right, am I wrong? That kind of works. That's blue and kind of works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is 
change the wattage from 70 down to 10. <laughs> this is a 0.42. All right, I'm going to uh I'm going to put some juice on here. What's the uh what's the nick level of this? I need some 12 or I need some uh uh, I might just do, uh, I might just do, uh, fall delight, <laughs> fall delight. I might just do fall delight because I don't have any 12 mixed up except for water Malone. And I have water Malone in 8,000 things. So fall delight. This is a, uh, this is 30 milligram, which is probably the highest nicotine that I really feel comfortable doing. I have some 50 milligram V-God mango bomb that is tasty. It's tasty. It's just too damn strong. I, I want lower nicotine levels. <laughs> like, fuck, man. 50 is just too much. 30 can be a little bit much as well, you know? 25 would be ideal. If I could get like a like a 16 milligram. Shit, give me a 15 milligram. 15 milligram free base or salt nick. That's my ideal nicotine level. A 15 milligram. That's all I've ever wanted. I feel like that would be freaking perfect. All right, so because this is a K-Fun, because this is a K-Fun clone, we're going to have to fill it up from the bottom because that's the way the K-Funs used to be, man. You just open it up on the bottom and you filled it up with liquid. So that's what we're going to do right about now. A little screw in the bottom here. Okay, Toonie, were you around? I think Toonie was around in the K-Fun days. I'm 100% sure Toonie was around in the K-Fun days. Wait, where did my liquid go? Oh, here it is. 100% sure Toonie was around in the K-Fun days. In fact... The first time I met Toonie, let's talk about that. first time I met Toonie was at Niagara Falls, which is one of, still one of my favorite vape events. Matt Cully, Suck My Mod was there. Uh, v was there. Ruby was there. It was awesome. It was awesome, and Ruby and I shot a bunch of video, and it was just fun and awesome and an awesome event, and that's where I first met Toonie. And Toonie was just there hanging out at Local Vape, just giving stuff out. He's like, you want a K-Fun? Yeah, just giving stuff away. You want a K-Fun? You want drip tips? In fact, Toonie gave me a green like vape towel rag that I kept in my back pocket at every vape event for literally like the next two years until it finally, finally, finally was lost. And I'm sorry to tell you that now, Toonie, but it finally, finally was lost. And if this was any more difficult to do, good God. Is my grip strength just that weak? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Trying to get this tank full. <sighs> this tank only, only might get half full, Toonie. Because <laughs> I can't squeeze this bottle to save my life. All right, let's try this again. Fill up. Almost there. Wait for it. Stay on target. Ugh. <sighs> Interesting. That's the hardest bottle I've ever had to squeeze ever in my life. And I know, see, I shouldn't be saying stuff like that. Just shouldn't. Here we go. Here we go, Toonie. Here we go. Boosh. I am pumped. Let's, uh... Oh, God, did I mess it up? Did I mess up the airflow somehow? Mm -mm. Okay, it works. I might have been just covering it up with my thumb. Okay, so this is a point four. So I'm going to test it out, I guess. Ten watts? Okay, it kind of vapes a little bit. I just wonder if we want to get that juice flowing in there. Perfect. It's like a perfect K-Fun. 
It's like a perfect K-Fun that wicks better and has an Addy Tooney built uh, coil in here. Shit, that's cool. Shit, that's cool. And Tooney, Tooney has been modifying things, modifying K-Funs, modifying things, heat treating, heat treat all the things. Tooney heat treats all the things. As soon as I see something heat treated, I go, that is 100%. That is 150% a Tooney creation. But... Let's try this 0.42 at 20 watts right now. Might be a little bit much. Let's try 15. That's not quite tight enough. It's not quite loose enough for a restricted lung. This is a strictly mouth to lung. Yeah. And dude, it vapes awesome. Toonie. Thank you for the really delicious vape I got right now, man. Far out. What? Far out. Yeah, I said it. I'm sticking by it. I'm not going to act like I was suddenly so shocked by what I said. I say far out all the time, man. Hmm. This is good. Toonie, thank you for this tank. Thank you for this tank. This is where it's going to live. On top of this blueberry wake mod Bigfoot. The blue and the blue. It just makes me so happy. And I got a big old big old tank full of tobacco. This is one of those things, man. I'm going to have to mess around with the wattage a little bit. You got to dial in that wattage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. 17 watts at a 0.4 tuning. This seems to be perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Perfection has been achieved. All right, Tooney. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And I'm really glad I got to set something up in this vlog because I wouldn't feel right. It wouldn't feel right not, you know, having a vlog and not setting something up in it. And I wish that you guys could, you can kind of see my garbage can right there. There is so much garbage in here. So much freaking garbage in here. But what I would like to do right now is, before we get to retro vaping, before we get to a liquid tasting, I, 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 viewer mails. I like that viewer mail music. It's a good one. It's a good viewer mail music. All right, so here we go. We got some viewer mails. And if anybody out there watching uh, has any viewer mails that they would like to send in, questions, literally kind of anything you can send it on in, um, they don't get replied to via keyboard, but they do get used on this vlog video. I have a long one. There's like one that's a part one and a part two. So that's something. That's a damn thing. I'm going to pick a short one for now. Just because, you know, sometimes I don't, I don't feel like reading that much. I'm dyslexic and reading is hard for me. Uh, viewer mail from Jason. Thank you, Jason. Wrote in and said, hey, Nick, been a follower for a while now. Love your advocacy. Love your adventures. A thought occurred to me a while back. Oh, I've already read this one. Yeah, he, he, he said we didn't want to call it an e-cigarette. He said we should have called it something else. And I said, hell yeah, we should have called it something else. I'm sorry. How's that a repeat? That upsets me that that's, uh, that's a repeat. Let's read this one right next to it. Stan. Wait, did I already read Stan's? Yeah, 100%. Apparently, I just don't uh, delete viewer mails after I read them. Maybe that's why I think I have so many of them already. All right, we're reading this one. Uh, this one came from... Chris goes by Big Brown Sausages. <laughs> hey, Nick. Uh, just dives right into it. Just no greetings or anything. Just, hi, Nick. I think I spend more money on hardware than on juice. I think this whole vaping industry has become a thing like collecting Pokemon trading cards a few years ago. I think this will be a good argument for our enemies that it's all about pulling them kids, pulling them kids their money out of their pockets. And I also have an opinion. I also have the opinion. And I also have the opinion that I'm very drunk right now. Oh, good. Oh, I like getting uh, drunk emails. P.S. This year, in 2019, uh, 
<laughs> Chris purchased a Kennedy Vindicator kit, Kennedy Vindicator tube, black tube, Cerakoted, uh, three Armageddon mods, Apo 25 in different colors, uh, Axle Mass Mods RDA, uh, the drip tips for, uh, he says, $130 worth of drip tips, a Strife 28, no, 28.5 millimeter copper RDA by CCI, coils for $80, two signature drip squonkers and two signature tips squonkers and drip tips. I've spent over 560 euros via PayPal. The money is gone but I don't have the items and they don't respond to my mails. This was three weeks ago and I don't really care. Ha ha. I think they are lazy, but righteous folk and I'll receive my order sooner or later. That's a good, Chris, that's a great outlook to have, man. Nothing, no emails. It's been three weeks, but they're good people. So I'm sure I'll get my order at some point. We all need to be a little bit more like Chris. We all need to just chill out just a little bit. Uh, He's, oh, okay, I should have kept reading. He says, I'm sure I'll receive my order sooner or later, but right now I am close to a heart attack. Anyway, uh, I bought this Vicious Ant DNA 75 Squonker in December. Don't remember the price. If the... Hello? All right, I'll let you in. I knew that was going to be, I knew it. I knew that was a delivery. I knew that was a delivery. Okay, that's cool. Hey, it's whatever. Let's just interrupt the vlog. No big deal. Don't remember the price on that. Is this sick behavior? Most of the time, I'm vaping on this k Prime mouth to lung because of the temperatures right now outside. Same shit year for year since 2014. I'm still smoking 10 cigarettes a week. I think someone has to finish me off because I'm retarded. No, you can't. Look, you can't say that anymore, Chris. I mean... You can. It's, I don't care. But you can't say that anymore. Thanks for the email. I, You know, drunk emails. It's one of those things where this didn't really have a point. He just said, am I spending too much money on vape gear? And the, and the only answer to that is, I don't know. If you think you are, then you might be. But if you don't, then you're probably not. That's what I have to say to you, Big Brown Sausages. But thank you so much for the email. I'm going to make sure to file that one uh, so it doesn't get read again. How about this one? Dakota. Dakota wrote in. Uh, hey, Nick, I just wanted to say I'm a longtime fan of your videos. I always watch your RDA videos when I need help figuring something out. You're one of the few YouTubers that I go through that go through that go very through with details and how to use a device. I've been super nervous to write this for whatever reason, but oh well. No, don't be, never be nervous to email me, please. Nobody ever do that. I'm looking to upgrade my mod to something newer that works a bit better. Do you have any suggestions for good all around dual 18650 mods? That is not bad on the vape budget hands. Also, I want to try CBD mixed e-liquids. How would I go about doing that? Would I have to add it myself or is there a specific vendor for it? I started working at Smoking Vapor Mesa out here in Arizona and I was wondering if I could get a shout out for the shop. Yes, Smoking Vapor, Mesa, Arizona. Boom roasted, you are shouted out. We just started carrying your meat pods again and they're awesome, people love them. Thanks for the shout out. If it happens, and I hope you have a great rest of your vlog. Great rest of your vlog. Wow, that's interesting. He signed it, great rest of your vlog because he knew I'd be reading it in the vlog. Fuck man, that's thinking ahead, Dakota. Enjoy and vape on. So yeah, um... Yeah, there's a, you, you can vape, uh, you can vape CBD, uh, Savage, um, which is one of the sponsors of the podcast. They have a, they have a bunch of vapable CBD stuff. You can also check out cbddrip.com and they have additives that you can put into your liquids. But if you don't want to bother with that, you can just buy vapable CBD liquid. Uh, I've kind of honestly gotten away from vaping CBD and I just tincture it now. And, and that's, that's how I use my CBD. I, I don't know. I got away from vaping it might happen. I might start vaping it again. You never know. It's just one of those things. I found the tincture to be a little bit more, I don't know, reliable, convenient, maybe, um, dual 18650 mod. That's not bad on the vape budget hands. <sighs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Um, one of the ones, I guess, in recent memory, dual 18650 mods that aren't going to break the vape budget hands, 
That V-Zone E-Mask is something that I really, really like. <laughs> Sageli kind of has some kind of cool stuff. I did the Cronus video pretty recently, and it's it's much better than it used to be. Um, I still like the Augvape V200, although there's a new version of that out as well. Um, the Smoant, what was the name of that regulated mod with the leather on it? The Smoant, the Smoant, Thing? What is it called? Smoant Ch Charon. Charon? 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 Smoant Charon. Maybe also uh maybe also look into that. Maybe also look into that. That's what I'm gonna say for now, Dakota. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much for that. Uh thank you so much for that email. How are we doing on time, my friends? Oh shit! All right. Well, let's wrap this up. Let's do uh, let's do one more viewer mail here. Let's pick an old one, and then let's get moving forward on into this vlog. Uh, this one's going to be super difficult to read. He says, uh, first, uh, this is from Richard. Richard wrote in a uh, long time ago and said, first, I'd like to thank you for everything you do for the vape community. Absolutely, my pleasure. Two months. Uh, Two months, I found out my mother, who made the decision to quit smoking over 15 years ago, has cancer. Needless to say, this was a massive shock to me and my family. Seeing the fear in her eyes as she found out how she had cancer and knowing it was a habitual two-pack-a-day smoker, I sat the cigarettes down. On my Knowing that I was a habitual two-pack-a-day smoker, I sat the cigarettes down. On the advice of my brother Kobe and the knowledge I gained from your vlogs, his suggestion as well, I made the choice to begin vaping. Vaping has changed my life and the lives of those around me to the point I have been able to convince several of those in my small circle I keep to get them off the cigs and vape and vape as well. I don't want to make this email too long, but I felt compelled to let you know what an impact you've made on my life and through the lives of so many others, including my mother. This, If this makes it into your vlog, I would like to give a shout out to my brother, Kobe. Kobe, bruh, you're shouted out. Boom roasted right there. Uh, for caring enough to introduce me to you and the vaping community, as well as for my mother, who remains strong despite the fear that she has cancer she's fighting. Feel free to use any names in this email during the vlog, of course, and let's keep on vaping. Yeah, absolutely. Richard, you are shouted out. Richard, brother, Kobe, you are shouted out. Your mom, Richard, who I didn't get her name, I don't think you gave it, you are definitely all 100% shouted out. 100% shouted out. Good Lord, 100% shout it out. Anyway, I think that is actually going to wrap up this here viewer mail segment. So what I would like to do right now, I think it is time. Let me get all prepared here. It's time. What should we do? Retro vaping. I had a burp. Oh, there it is. It was a weak burp. All right. So what I have to retrovate today is something that I actually need to re-wick. Maybe I will try out this Swag Supreme Cotton on here. But this is a topper. This is a topper from not like a crazy long time ago. Fairly recently, I would say within the last two years, uh, this was a huge RDA. And not huge like popular. I think it was just huge as far as size goes, and I loved it. This was an atomizer that I loved, 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 just into the ground. Anybody remember this thing? Anybody remember the Achilles RDA? Does anybody remember this? I had a review for it uh, years and years ago. Uh, to those on the replay, I'm gonna try to track down the link to my original uh, Achilles video. And I'll put it down there in the description, but this was a monster. This was a beast of an RDA. And this was one of those, you know, it came out at a weird time and it was expensive. It was, it was on the pricey side, but it was essentially like a huge, huge velocity. It was just a big velocity. It had a humongous two post deck in there. Those are four millimeter coils in there. Just a big old 
big old like velocity style deck big old velocity style deck these are the original coils that i was using in it back in the day like two years ago these are still the same coils looks like they might need to be tightened up a little bit though on that side couldn't tell you whose coils these were uh good lord couldn't tell you whose coils these were and then there were these little notches on the deck and then the top cap had these little notches that sat right down in there and it basically had the same airflow as the velocity as well i mean this was something that you could unscrew like this and you could open up that airflow as much or as little as you want and then this came uh, like the velocity this came completely off which i'm not going to do right now there's like all sorts of old Ooh, this needs a this needs a cleaning that is some old liquid in there so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off but yeah it was uh, it was essentially like a really big velocity like a really big velocity style deck and it had big airflow and the dude that made it he was just stoked on it he's like i just made this big fucking honking atomizer and i really really love it and i wanted to send you one see if you're into it as well i was i was into it oh no an o-ring came off hang on medical emergency all right so let's get this back might i shouldn't have taken that all the way off let's just we're gonna put this back down because i closed off this airflow like a lot of the way i mean psh, a lot of the way just like that okay so i have this and i just want to also point out i put this achilles on this wake uh bigfoot no overhang zero overhang it comes i mean i apologize for doing this to you so many times but it comes right to the edge right to the edge no overhang no overhang there no overhang on this side either that is incredible to me uh, this originally had overhang on every mod that i put it on now there's no overhang on this wake and i think that's uh I think that's kind of amazing. I genuinely do. I genuinely think it's kind of amazing. So let me get out my scissors. Talk amongst yourselves for a little bit. I'm literally just going to try to put some cotton in here. And we're going to wick it up. And uh, and we're going to vape it. This is Swag Supreme. I don't even think I need to like thin this out or separate it in any way. I think I can put this whole wad through there. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to cut off two strips. They're kind of big. It's kind of a big puffy thing here, but this is also a big, big coil. So let's let's test this coil before we go any further. Because that's the first thing that needs to happen. This is a 0.18. Nope, we're going to turn that wattage up. 17 watts ain't going to do much for us. Here we go. Oh, that ramp up time on these coils was insane. The ramp up time on these coils was insane. And they're glowing fucking perfectly. Perfectly. How does that even happen? 95 watts. 0.16. Just trying to cool down those coils. There's nothing worse than... Uh, putting cotton inside of a coil that's still warm and then it singes it you know you get that like burnt cotton sort of sensation right out of the gate yeah this is going to be great this is going to be awesome it's going to be awesome yeah and i don't have to cut this swag cotton at all dang that went in there perfectly 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 i didn't even have to do the twisty trick that i do sometimes with cotton bacon now Dang, this is going to be a real fast wick job. Boosh. Starting to already look like it's a wick thing. Just going to leave some on the sides because this is more of a, you know, it's a, it's a traditional velocity style deck. So I don't want to cut these too short. Let's trim a little bit more off. Let's trim a little bit more off. Okay. Let's put this down in here. And this is an old school one, so you have to do the, the, the flip and tuck. Back in the day, all RDAs, even the recoil had to do the flip and tuck. Even the recoil rebel have to do the flip and tuck. Flip, tuck. Flip, tuck. Flip, tuck. 
make some space in there, make some room on this dance floor. Let's open up this pit. Let's move that cotton around. Yeah, flip and tuck. Boosh. Wicked. Wicked in record time. Um, you know, after seeing my wicking skills just now, I'm not really super surprised that I annihilated Kent at the Sweden Build and Blow competition. Doesn't really surprise me very much. <laughs> that was like the single most like cocky fucking thing I've ever said. <laughs> and I'm sorry, that is not how I intended that. That was meant really more as a slam towards Kent than anything else. Just because he's not here and it's easy to make fun of him. Uh, what what do I want to try out in this? Let's try out some of this strawberry. Let's go back. Let's jump back down into the strawberries from down under. I'm really excited about this. I remember the vape from this RDA being just kind of awesome. I remember really loving this RDA and I did a review for it and I guess he didn't sell many and then I never heard from the guy ever again and I don't even know if Achilles, if there were, how many of these were sold because he didn't serialize any of them because on the bottom of these, it just says, fuck serial numbers. And I saw that and I thought, fuck, that's so cool. Bro, that's so cool. That's so punk rock. Yeah, fuck serial numbers. Like, I fell for this atomizer hook, line, and sinker. In fact, this was the last, like, big atomizer that I was really into, that I really enjoyed. Oh yeah, there we go. There's some vapors happening. That ramp up time is a little bit crazy. This is something that really deserves like a series. In fact, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough power in my batteries. I'm gonna have to change out my freaking batteries. Yeah, these batteries are dead. These batteries don't have enough power in them to power this thing. Really, I should be putting this on a series box. That's 100% what I should be doing, but I don't think I have a series box. No, I can't put this on a series. What are you kidding me? It's too low. I don't even want to risk that shit. This is a 0.17. I'm not going to put that on a series. I mean, okay. <sighs> Technically, I think you could put that on a series. There we go. That's some more power. Let's just go to an even 100 watts. Okay, well, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Let's make sure this is all nice and juicy and moist-like. And like I said, the tab goes into the tab. Boosh, like that. Make sure my airflow's adjusted. Yeah, it's just a big, swooshy airflow swag cotton on the inside this is the achilles rda and i will be shocked 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 if anybody remembers this i mean 100 percent shocked if anybody remembers this but cheers here's to you guys let's give this a retro vape yeah and it rules and it still rules Thank you, Mo Mowgli Vapes, from the chat. Your Achilles review was April 2016. Vape and Fagan reviewed it, too. Well, I mean, I guess that means he did a way better job than me. I remember that this isn't one that you couldn't really uh, blay your juice through the middle. I think I remember this being very much of a pop and paint situation, but it was one of those things like the Kennedy where I didn't really, it didn't really bother me to pop and paint this. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just weird. It's one of those things that varies just from RDA to RDA, whether or not I care about blowing your juice. My stance, my official stance, like if I was running for a, a candidacy of, of, a, of an office, my official stance on the subject is preferably I would like to blow my juice through the top. That's what I would like to do. Bleh, right through the top. Sometimes you got to pop and paint. You don't have to pop and paint. Sometimes I like to pop and paint. Like I said, it just varies. But, dude, it's still vaping awesome. And I forgot my favorite part of the Achilles is when you purge it, it purges, like, down at an angle, like this. Look, the flavor's not... Hi, guys. The flavor's not amazing. Like, the flavor's not incredible. It's good. It's 
it's such a world of difference. I mean, world of difference. Same juice, Mike vapes. Recurve RDA, same juice in the Achilles, and there is a substantial, substantial difference in the flavor. That is some mother effing strawberry. That still kind of tastes like strawberry, but the flavor is way down, way, way different, way down, way down on the scale. This is a, this is a substantially noticeable drop in flavor between the Mike Vapes Recurve RDA and this here Achilles RDA. But come on, does that, is that any cooler, the purge that way? And it's cloudy, and it's cloudy like crazy. My favorite part of this, honestly, is the way that it purges. <laughs> and I do like the vape from it. Thankfully, I had some crackly coils in here. I love a good crackle. There's nothing better to me than a good crackly, crackly coil. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep this around just because it blows some pretty dope ass clouds. And I don't even care what you have to say about that. It does, 100%. That's a... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> it's cloudy. It's warm. Let's see what. Let's see if any if I can put any more wattage through this. Let's put it up to like 115 watts, 120 watts. Let's try it and see if I cough hysterically. I'm, I'm just, let me just make sure that it's juiced up. Let me just make sure that it's juiced up. <gasps> Is Mike here? Oh, what do you mean you haven't seen the impression yet? Well, now I'm definitely not doing it. 100% not doing it. Pfft. Mike, you haven't heard the impression yet. 100% <laughs> not doing it. But Mike Vapes, while you're here, thanks for the recurve. Thanks for the rebirth. Really appreciate those two products. Cheers. All right, let's try this at 120 watts. Oh, I got a bubble in my throat. So hot. So hot. It's time to open up that airflow, friends. Now, let's turn it up even more. Let's shoot the moon right now. 130 watts. It's only 5 volts, but it's on a 0.16. Cloudy. Cloudy for days. That's really all this RDA is good for. <laughs> it's good for clouds, and it's cool purging downward. That's about all that the Achilles is good for, but it's one of those things, man. I take it out every once in a while because I have such fond memories of the Achilles. I remember, you know, I remember going places with the Achilles and using the Achilles. And I remember sitting on my old couch in my old living room and just vaping the Achilles and being like, dude, this thing's fucking crazy. This is a crazy RDA. It's the Achilles from way back in 2016. And I promise <laughs> that was one for you. Sorry. Sorry about that. hundred percent. Sorry about that. Mike vapes. Did you hear that, Mike? This is one of those RDAs. I, I don't know. I just pull it out every once in a while and build it. It's probably going to be in another retro vaping segment in the future. And I promise that I'm going to go back in the retro vapings farther than like 2015, farther than like 2016. I've got stuff from 2010, 2011, 2012. I got stuff from 2013 all, all, all put away, ready to go. The retro vaping is going to become my favorite part of the vlog just because I get to use all this really, really old vape gear and it's fun. It's just fun. I don't care. It's fun to geek out. It's fun to be nerdy and it's fun to nerd out about vape stuff. And I'm looking forward to all of the retro vapes. All of the upcoming retro vapings are going to be boosh, burpin, awesome. <laughs> Thanks for that coil turd. So I think what we're going to do now... <sighs> Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's taste some liquid. I really need a new bumper. Juice tasting. I'm 
So as mentioned before, the watermelon down under, watermelon down under? It is not watermelon down under, it is strawberry down under. It is staying in the Mike Vapes recurve and it is staying in the Lazy Vapors box mod. That's it, this is where this is staying. I just wanna keep using it. That's the problem is I just wanna keep using it. But I've got another RDA here and we're gonna use this wake mod again, just cause it's available. I've got another RDA here. I've got a, a bunka. I got a bunka RDA right here, all built, all wicked, ready to accept some liquid. And the liquid that I have to vape tonight came to me from all the way across, all the way across past the UK, Sweden. This liquid came to me from Sweden. I am both fascinated by it and terrified by it. It's gonna need a nick shot in it. So this is a penguin, what the hell is this? P vapor, P vapor, P vapor UK nick shot. P vapor UK nick shot. And the juice that we're gonna be tasting, whew, strap in. I have a feeling I might need to just throw this bunker RDA away after I vape this liquid. But this is from Sweden, man, and they love their black licorice over there, and this is mama juice black. This is a black licorice. This is a black licorice vape. I used to really like black licorice vapes. It was kind of like one of my go-to flavors back in the day. So here's a little bit of Grandpa Grim history of vaping. Once upon a time, and I've told this story a bunch, we didn't have any liquids made in the United States. A 100% of our liquids, 100% of our liquids came from China. We didn't know anything about DIYing at first. We didn't know anything about, there were no US juice manufacturers, liquid manufacturers, juice vendors in the United States. I remember some of the first USA made juice that I bought was from a guy on ECF named Walrus. He just went by Walrus. In fact, I owe Walrus a lot. I don't know if Walrus is still around anywhere. Walrus, he made. He used to make juice and I used to buy it from him and it was all delicious. He made peanut butter cup juice that I really liked. Walrus also was the person that kind of motivated me to do more with Grim Green. Um, he bought me grimgreen.com. He bought me the domain and that was, he's like, just do it. He's like, here, grimgreen.com. Here's the domain. Do it more. Do Grim Green. And he really motivated me in those really early, early 2009, 2010 days to be more, to do, to do something more. And uh, I, I appreciate Walrus. And so Back in the day, we had no liquids made in the United States. And then there was one company that I believe is still around, Eliquid Planet. They were the first, I believe, I believe they were the first e-liquid manufacturer in the United States. They were the first e-liquid manufacturer using flavors from the United States. They were the first e-liquid man manufacturer to do a PG-VG mix because like I said, once upon a time when all our juices came from China, it was just 100% PG liquids. 100% PG liquids. E-Liquid Planet was the first to do PG VG mixes. They did a 50-50, I think, and a 60-40 as well. They had an, a line of juice called Essence. 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 And it was USA made juice. And their tobaccos were incredible. The strawberry fields was unbelievable and they had one that I don't remember the name of it that was like it was a black licorice it was like eating a gigantic black jelly bean like that was the flavor of it and I loved it I loved it so much in fact here's also a grim green trivia way back in the day we used to sell a juice called rad and plenty and it was licorice based. It was uh, licorice and strawberry. In fact, it started off trying to be a uh, like a Jaeger Red Bull flavor because I don't know what the fuck. I, that's what I was drinking at the time. I don't know what was going on back then, but I wanted to do a Red Bull Jaeger flavor. And so what came out of it was Rad and Plenty. And it tasted exactly like those Good and Plenty candies, like thin candy shell, a little bit of strawberry, a lot of black licorice, just boom all up in your mouth hole. So... We're diving in. We're diving into some black licorice. I haven't had a black licorice liquid in quite, quite some time. Holy shit. All right, hang on there, juice bottle. 
You just completely came apart on me, didn't you? So, I'm going to try to get this Nick shot in here. I don't see if there's a way to... Does this come out? I don't know how to do this. Okay, that works. So, I'm going to put the Nick shot in here instantly. As soon as I opened this bottle, it was like the most pungent, black licorice ever the most pungent black licorice flavor uh, like i've ever smelled ever in my life so let's dump a nick shot in here we're gonna shake the hell out of this should i do that fresh out three thing where you have to look at people in the chat and you say their names while you're shaking liquid that was actually kind of fun all right so where's my cap and this bottle just died like the whole assembly kind of came out of it. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to salvage this bottle. I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage this bottle, man. And that bums me out because what if it's really good? What if I love this juice? Nope, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to put my finger over the tip to shake it up because there's no way that... Eye contact, that's important. All right, Vic, you want eye contact? I'll give you some eye contact, Vic. Just shaking it up nice and good. Want to make sure it's all mixed. Don't act like you're not impressed. All right, I think we're mixed pretty well. I think we're mixed pretty well. I'm nervous. I mean, I'm being honest. I'm pretty nervous right now. Let's try this black licorice. Let's give it a, a knuckle test first, although I know what to expect. Yep, just crazy black licorice. Is there menthol in this? Is there culotta in this? I got a little bit of a uh, cooling sensation there, which that'll just make this all the more interesting, doesn't it? If there's culotta in this and... Sweden, look, if there's one thing that uh, is, 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 whoa, easy, 130 watts, easy. We're going to put you back down. We're going to put you back down to a reasonable wattage. How about 65? Much better. God, so much better. Um, in Sweden, they, they, they love black licorice, and all their candies are black licorice based, like, 80% of their candy in Sweden is all black licorice based. Um, when I went there for the, with the first time when it was just me and Jess and we were hanging out with Matthias and he bought a bunch of candy. He came back from the store with a bunch of candy and we're all pumped. I love candy. I have a sweet tooth, love candy. So he's like, here, try these. And it's just this little white thing, little white square with a, with a, the graphic had like a, a monkey on it. And he's like, these are my favorite candies. And I said, all right. And I just popped one in my mouth. And what that white was, was salt. And it was covering just a huge chunk of black licorice. It was like chewing on a tire. It was hard and chewy and salt covered licorice it blew my mind that people ate these on a regular basis. It blew my mind that this was Matthias's favorite candy was salt covered licorice. What? But hey, you know what? To each their own. More for them. The world would be a real, real fucking born place if we all liked the same things. So here we go. Good Lord. That is, uh, that is not a matchy matchy combo in any capacity. You got a blue wake with a purple bunker on there let's just give it a try wish me luck let's just give it one try here all right well that was interesting so here's what i'm going to do now i really genuinely want to take a couple toots off of this so i'm just going to give you some hold music 
and I'll be right back. And I'll remember to turn the, turn the hold music off this time. Here we go. I kind of like this juice, you guys, and I don't know what's wrong with me. I kind of like this juice. It's exactly what I thought it would be. It is a black licorice nightmare. Just, it's like a black licorice train wreck in your mouth. It's so much black licorice, it's crazy. I happen to really like black licorice, so I don't find this that offensive. I really like this black licorice flavor. It's sweeter than I thought it would be, which I, I'm excited that it's sweeter than I thought it would be. It's got some nice sweetness to it. It's not too sweet. It's nowhere near approaching the sweetness fence of sweetness. It's it's back. It's back on the sweetness fence. There is culotta in it. And I don't know if anybody in the chat, chances are you've Chances are you vaped a juice with culotta in it. If you ever get that like really strong cooling sensation, but without any mint or menthol or spearmint or anything like that, that is culotta. It's a purely trigeminal sensation. It doesn't have a flavor to it. All you do is experience it. You just feel it and it feels cool. It feels like chili in your mouth. This is this is the chili wind in your mouth, Ruby Roo mixed with just a metric ton of black licorice flavor. Uh, and I like it. Why do I like this? Why do I like this? Why do I keep vaping this? It's just, it's culotta and black licorice. And it's given me... The culotta that I like, I love culotta in, in liquids. It has to be the right liquid for it, but I love culotta in liquids. I'm not going to lie. If I was doing the squonker challenge right now, this would be going in the squonker. I like this juice. I like this juice enough that I'm going to transfer it into a bottle that is a functioning bottle. It's just so fucking weird. It's just so weird, dude. It's black licorice with culotta. I can't think of another way to explain that. If you like black licorice and you're not against culotta and you want to try like the weirdest juice and you happen to live in Sweden or you can get juice from Sweden. Look, I don't know where you can buy this. I'll show you the label one more time, but it's called... Mama Juice Black. Mama Juice Black. Now, see, I'm not sure, Zach, and I'll get to you in a second, how I feel about black licorice and menthol, but the black licorice and culotta right now is really doing it for me, and I'm a little scared about how much I like this juice. Um... I'm actually terrified about how much I like this juice. It is legit. It's a good juice. Like I said, if I was doing the squonker challenge, it would be going in the squonker. I didn't I didn't know what to expect. I'm just as surprised as you are, but it's damn good. Wow. All right. Well, 
since we are already running long, uh, it is time to get to the second to last uh, segment of the vlog, and that is fa favorite comments of the week. Go. Here we go. Favorite comments of the week. Um, these are, there's no way to get into favorite comments of the week. You just have to comment. The only way to get into comments of the week is comment on the video. Comment on, uh, on whatever video you want to. Just comment and, and, you know, just comment. That's the only way to get in. First favorite comment of the week. Uh, Justin left a comment and said, is it just me? Is it just me? Where has the phrase keep on vaping? What? Is it just me? I think you meant to say, or... Or has the phrase keep on vaping become the live long and prosper of the vape industry? Shit, man, I don't know. I I, I don't think so, Justin, but I'm glad you like it. And I, I've been saying it for 10 years and it's still now, it's still true now as it was back then. Always keep on vaping. Let's just keep on vaping, man. Got another one here from Vapen Alien. Okay, well, this one's going to be difficult for me to read because it's so tiny and so far away, but let's see what the Vapen Alien had to say. Nick, you have to try this. Get yourself some Flavor Art Strawberry, aka Red Touch, and also their Fuji Apple Flavor. You can get them at like Bull City Flavors or whatever. Then mix the Water Malone with 2% Fuji Apple and 4% Strawberry Red Touch. So for a 60 mil, that would be whatever you mix your Malone at plus 1.2... Sorry. 1.2 milligram Fuji and 2.4 milligram Strawberry, or you can use mills if you don't have a scale same numbers this turns the malone into a recipe called the waned johnson the waned johnson a strapple on recipe that wayne from diy or diy or die rated one of his top in 2018 and he wished he had figured that out instead of the guy who did it because he would have sold that instead of just the malone it's so good and adds so much more flavor. Just do it. I'm like 97.9% .9 sure you will love it even more. And it's only like four bucks in concentrates to buy. Well, shit. All right, vaping alien. It sounds like I have no choice now. Is, is this a recipe that's readily available somewhere? I'm assuming it is. I'm going to keep this comment of the week. It looks like I'm going to go buy some flavor art strawberry aka red touch and some fuji apple uh live long and prosper from bull city vapors or wherever and i'm gonna mix this i've got some water malone still i'm gonna mix this i want to make the waned johnson i want to make it uh i just want to make it that's all there is to it got another favorite comment of the week here okay so this one was an old one and i, I it just fell completely off my radar. It was buried down in a bunch of comments of the week, but this is one of my patrons, Grumwish. Um, this was from Patreon. This is from a DM on Patreon. He said, I just wanted to see if I could get a shout out to my wife, Elizabeth. She is my rock and my whole world revolves around her. We've been married for 25 years. She has stood by me through years of submarine service and being deployed for countless months on end. She also stood by me and helped me through a triple bypass and the recovery from it. I couldn't be prouder to be her husband and her best friend. Feel free to use my name. And as always, thank you. thanks for all you do and the support you give all us vapors. Grumwish, absolutely. You, your, your wife, here, this is, this is not okay. Full screen fist bump to Grumwish and your wife, Elizabeth. Couple goals. You know what I mean? Couple goals. I hope someday that I'm writing an email to somebody and I can say, you know, my, just can you shout out my wife, Casey Pickle? I've been married to her for 25 years and everything. And that's just relationship goals, man. That's just relationship goals, bro. Got another one here from Selah R. Um, makes a good point. Says, I think Vupu needs to make donations to pro vape advocacy groups as part of their apology because this damage goes beyond their brand and beyond the UK. That might be a repeat of a favorite comment of the week, but I still think it matters. I think Vupu, I'm on board for this. I think we need to let Vupu know. I think we need to let Freemax know. I think if you fuck up, then you give advocacy groups money as part of an apology. <laughs> because the damage that they do 
unknowingly the damage that they do, they they need to know. They need to know that what they're doing affects us. And I don't know how to do that. The, I mean, we're capitalists, right? I mean, at least I am. Vote with your wallet. I mean, the boycott Vupu thing, I wasn't, you know, it's whatever. But that's a that's a thing. If we could actually boycott things and nobody bought Vupu products, they would listen. If we actually boycotted things and, you know, didn't support the Freemax Twister, they would listen. They are beholden to us as consumers. That's the way capitalism works. They're beholden to us as consumers. And if we don't like your product and we don't like what you're doing with your product and we don't like how you're promoting your product, then we have the freedom to just not buy it and not give you our money. That's the way capitalism should work. I think that's a, I think that's a very great point. Got another one here. Justin, the skull is actually a buck deer skull. It was just upside down. Really? So it goes this way? It's still on my shelf, by the way. So it goes, it goes this way? Like this? So the horns are going up? A little snout? I don't see any eye holes. See, to me, oh, maybe it's this way. Apparently, I don't know how skulls work. I got this beautifully painted bedazzled skull that I keep on my shelf now, and I can't tell. See, this looks like a nose to me. He says it was a buck deer, but it was just upside down. So does that mean it goes like this? Is that where the nose is? Like this? Where do the eyes go, man? I don't know. All right. All right. I believe you. I believe you. I just I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> Last favorite comment of the week for this week. Uh, Lewis Thomas. Got this guy. Look at, look at this guy. They can't stop shit. Somebody will make it. It's just somebody's wiener needs to be abiding and blues don't taste that bad. Hipster. I don't know what that means. I think he means that they can't stop, that the government can't stop shit. Somebody will make it. This part is confusing. It's just somebody's wiener need to be abiding. It's just somebody's, somebody's. It's just somebody's wiener needs to be abiding. And blues don't taste that bad. Hipster. Do I come across as a hipster? Like your first impressions of me, right? Hipstery? Let me know down in the comments. Did you see me at first glance and go, that guy's a fucking hipster? I, I don't, I don't, I've never tried to portray that. I've never tried to be anything else other than, than Mr. Nick Green. I don't know. Maybe people think I'm a hipster. I don't think I'm a hipster. I don't feel like a hipster. I don't think I look like a hipster. I don't know. Maybe I'm a hipster. So there you go. Favorite comments of the week. Uh, let's, uh, you know, we're getting down to the end of the vlog here. It's time. Uh, it's time to do the super chat, friends. Oh, man, I was I was interrupting the super chat music. I like the super chat music. All right, let's get to, let's do this. Let's do this thing, friends. Um, I really appreciate everybody coming out, as always. Uh, I, I love the vlog, and I love doing the vlog live. Where is my super chat, yo? Uh, ah, there it is. There we go. There's the super chat. There it is. So let's get to the top here. Looks like we have a bunch to go through. First things first, the Rise and Vape show. Absolutely. Very gracious of you. Happy Hallmark Day to you as well, the Rise and Vape show. He said happy holiday, happy Hallmark Day to you and Casey Pickles. I really appreciate that. Eifer, the Trooper beer is amazing, bro. It's, it's really amazing. And I'm slacking off here. I need to finish this. Chug it, chug it. Uh, Mums der Dumpfer, how much money do you need? Do you need to get you to the Hall de Vape, the largest fair in the EU in Stuttgart, uh, Stuttgart, Germany? Yes, greetings from Germany, greetings from America. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't. What? How much money do I need to get me there? I don't know. I mean, that's not. 
I don't, I haven't been, um, invited, I guess. I don't know anything about the, the, the German event other than I've known people who have gone there and they said it was really, really great. I, I would love to go. It's something I'll look into. It's something I'll look into. It's not like a, like a bribery thing or like you need to pay me or anything. I, if I, I'll, I'll look into it and if I want to go, then, then I'll, then I'll just pony up the dough and go. I've never been to Germany except on a layover and I would love to go to Germany. Are you going to the Wave Expo in May, Coils and Clouds? Very gracious of you. Absolutely, 100%. I will be at the Wave Expo in May. Wave is apparently the new ECC. I don't know why they're changing the name to Wave. It's like a different kind of thing. They're incorporating more stuff uh, into... It's not just a vape show now, but I'll 100% be going. 100%. Ruby Roo and I were already talking about it today. We're making hotel plans. 100% we're going to be there. Um, appreciate that coils and clouds, Justin, very gracious of you. I'd love to send you some e-liquid for to use in a random juice tasting. I'll shoot you an email and I would love to know what your palate is. Anything special for the subject to have it stand out? Um, no, Justin, just email me and just put like a fuck ton of exclamation points in the subject. Like that's it. Just brrr, like 800 exclamation points. In, brrr, I'll see your email. As far as my palate goes, I don't even know anymore, man. I, you know, I used to really like bakery flavors and now I don't really vape bakery flavors. And I've been on this like really fruity kick with like watermelon and pony on acid and rocket blast, like these, like these candied fruit flavors. And now apparently I like black licorice with culotta. So my palate is whatever you want me to taste. Let's just call it that. Good, bad, ugly, otherwise, don't care. ZS, ZS Benedict. Yo, yo, I Nick. Hope you and Pickle are having a great evening. We are. We, I mean, we're going to have a great evening as soon as as soon as I ditch you guys, <laughs> cock bloggers. Casey's not even home yet. We're gonna have a very nice dinner. We're gonna hang out. It's Valentine's Day, so come on. The Vaping Barber. Grim, thanks for all you do. Clutch Life. Hell yeah, Clutch Life. Please shoot out my beautiful fiance, Tracy, and wish her a happy Valentine's Day from The Barber. Did I call you The Vaping Biker? You're not The Vaping Biker. Dean's The Vaping Biker. You're The Vaping Barber. But regardless, The Vaping Barber is getting shouted out, and his fiance, Tracy Vapor, is getting shouted out as well. Happy Valentine's Day from The Barber to Tracy. Very gracious of you, Barbara. Very much appreciate that. Uh, Zach, five, five bucks. Thank you. Very gracious of you. You didn't have to, but you did. When I make hard boiled eggs, I save the yolks for last. Is that weird? I hope everybody has a rad Vapentine's Day. Oh, that's so great. Vapentine's Day. Thank you, Zach. Um, and no, that's not weird. Hard boiled eggs, you eat the yolks last. Totally not weird. It's a little weird, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it's totally not weird. Eat your food however you want to eat your food. <laughs> Monochrome with Domino, very gracious of you. Love that number. Uh, this amount is for the evil eye I'm getting from all the misses. I'll catch you in replay, my dude. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Absolutely, monochrome was domino. Appreciate that, man. Chris Kennedy, thank you so much. You're, you're very welcome, sir. Um, he just said, thanks for what you do. Thank you, Chris Kennedy. Vaping with Ken. Ken, whenever I see you in the, in the chat, on the vlog, best. That is the best feeling. I want you to know that, that if I ever see a chat and Ken's not there, I'm just canceling the vlog. The whole life of the vlog now depends on Ken. How's that for a lot of pressure? <laughs> anyway, vaping with Ken. Uh, very gracious of you, sir, by the way. Thanks for the 510 report today. Advocate, advocate, advocate. Fighting a flavor ban in Washington State. Yep, wholesale tax increased to around 90%. Advocacy grassroots. Also, thanks for being awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm far from awesome, but I'm glad that you think I am. And yes, advocate, advocate, advocate. You know, uh, Aaron Biebert texted me the other day. And one of the things he said in one of his texts was, uh, same dream, same team. And I was like, I'm stealing that. Same dream, same team. Same dream, Ken, same team. There we go. 
Vape Ross Vape, very gracious of you. Toonie is a legend. Toonie is 100% a, le a legend, Ross, 100%. Phantom Vaps, very gracious of you. Had you have you tried the Revenant, bro? The Revenant, bro? Yeah, the yes, yes, I have. Are you talking about the the Cartel Revenant or the the TVL Revenant uh, Delta thing? Because I've definitely had a Revenant. In fact, my Revenant uh, is very sentimental to me because I got it in in Sweden. I traded uh, I traded Matthias for it. Andrew, very gracious of you. Hey, bro, thanks for everything you do. Just wondering if there was any new vape tour news. Uh, no, no real vape tour news to speak of, but it's one of those things that's in the back of all of our minds and it's just a matter of executing it. And I, I, I my plate is too small for all of the things that I have on it right now. And so the idea of trying to think about organizing another vape tour, it's not my favorite thought. I really want to do another vape tour. It is going to happen, but I got no new tour news for you right now, Andrew. I apologize. A plug fund for Mrs. Green. A plug fund. Thank you, Zach. Really appreciate that. I'll make sure that she gets that $2 directly to her, bypassing me completely, and then she can buy a bass tub plug. <laughs> I for thanks, Nix, for the TVL. Hey, you finally got it. I also listened to the Tattoo Gas and would absolutely love to have you tattoo me. I for you're going to be my first. You're going to be my first tattoo. Oh, Casey Pickle's leaving work right now. You're going to be my first tattoo. Uh, I'm glad you finally got the package. I've promised I for a TVL Delta for like two months now, and it finally went out, bro. You finally got it. Dull Dime group photo at NVE, Michelle Lynn. Yes, 100% yes. I just don't know which dull dime I'm going to bring. I think I'm going to bring the curate one because I think I like the curate one the most. I for the cotton sounds like a heartbeat to me. It does. It sounds like snow to me. Forgot to say it. Thanks for the Smacks Lick It. Yes, I sent you some Smacks Lick It as well, I for. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. I know you will. You can't not enjoy Smacks Lick It. I mean, <laughs> come on. Speaking of CBD, shout out to localcbd.co, .co or .com. Might be both. Might be .co, might be .com. Thank you, Jessica. I really appreciate that. Vic, contribution to the Get Suck My Mod a wrench fund. Oh, what? Suck My Mod wants to be a moderator in the chat now? That's what I have to say to that. Um... Hey, does the TVL always reset the watts? Uh, it shouldn't. You mean when you take out the battery? I've never noticed that. It shouldn't do that. It shouldn't do that, Eifer. Uh, got another one here from Zach. I need to send you a juice from my local shop. Black licorice menthol. Yeah, that's what I saw when we were doing the juice tasting. I'll try it, Zach. Look, I'll try it, bro. I'll try one, I'll try anything once. Anything. Anything once. Don't even trip, dog. I would love to try that out. Shoot me his email, Zach. Rodney, awesome. Didn't even request anything. Thank you, very gracious. Rodney Meadows, you're, you're shouted out for being a stellar human being right there. Uh, Coil Turd, let's go to Disneyland as soon as fucking possible. Yeah. Yeah. Turd. Come on, come over to Disneyland. I'm trying to I try to invite people to Disneyland. Like I'm trying to get Coil Turd her. Even today, I was talking to Ruby Rose. Like, dude, you guys, anytime, come down to uh, come down to Disneyland. Let's go to Disneyland. Yeah, Coil Turd. Literally, anytime. You could text me anytime. Even if you texted me and you said, I'm walking towards the front gate of Disneyland right now, I'd be like, say no more, fam. And I would get in my car and I would drive there and I would meet you no matter what I was doing. I just want you to know that, Coil Turd. Eifer, make my birthday and come to NVE New York in July? Wait, there's an NVE New York? All right, I'm in. I want to go to New York. I love New York. Who doesn't love New York? I love New York. Jacob, the process of making something for you. It would be one of a kind. Hope to have it done soon. <gasps> Scrapwood mods. What? Jacob. I'm very excited about that, Jacob. Thank you very much. Nicholas, uh... Very gracious of you. Just want to say we love the vlog. It's always on in the shop on Thursday night. Also, I can't wait to hear what you think of Ben. It's a guava lemonade. 
Ben is a guava lemonade. I just like this because there's a picture of a pupper on it. And that makes me... You can't be mad when you're around a dog. You just can't. It's just not a possible thing. Um, really looking forward to that, Nicholas. This is going to happen soon. This is going to be in a very random liquid tasting very soon. ZS Benedict. Hey, Nick, if you haven't tried it, I'm in love with Strongbow Hard Cider for an easy drinking beer. I love me some hard ciders, bro. I love me some hard ciders. I'll definitely check that out. Uh, Ryan, you need to do a, a vaping history video with Matt. I completely agree. 100%. I'm dying to do that. The next time that Matt offers, like, hey, come on my show, we're going to do the history of vaping, and it's going to be legendary. Mad Viking Vapor, bro. I just wanted to say how much I respect you, sir, and I shout you out almost every review I do about being the go-to for advocacy. Bro, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Really very much appreciate that. Uh, Eric... Uh, are we ever going to get goat head, a alien goat heads? Um, never say never. Never say never, Eric. Never say never. Matt Clark. Hello from Maine. Oh, Maine. Your state is going off the rails, brother. Hello from Maine. Do you think DIY setups will be considered a nicotine container or just prepackaged juice? Here's the thing. I have no idea. That legislation is so vague. It literally just says ban nicotine containers. That's it. This could be a nicotine container. 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 Uh, this could be a nicotine container. This could be a nicotine container. This whole mod could be a nicotine container, or maybe it's just the bottle that's the nicotine container, and that part would be banned, but the rest of it would be okay. I don't know. They're so vague with that legislation that it could literally be anything. And that's the scary part. And, and I'm sorry, I have no idea, Matt. No idea. Very gracious of you, though. Thank you, sir. Christopher, those Twister mods would look great in my Jansport backpack right next to my dope-ass matching Trapper Keeper. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. Jansport backpack right next to my dope ass matching trapper keeper, right? You're going to be late for your sixth grade math class. Yeah, well, there we go. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done with the super chat. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to finish this beer right here. We got another one here from Efer. Give me one more second. Eifer, one last thing, two things. Lick it is the bomb and check Insta. I will. I'll get around to checking Insta. I'll get around to checking Instagram. Don't you worry about it, Eifer. According to my phone, Instagram is like the most used app on my phone. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. So we made it. You guys, we made it to the end. But what do you have to say, Jessica Jones? Can you give Casey a big hug from me, Miss Pickle? Miss Pickle Hacks. Yeah, Pickle Hacks. Pickle Hacks need to come back for sure. I, I will give Jessica Jones, I will definitely give Casey a hug from you. Let me take one quick look right here and make sure I didn't forget anything. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I think we're good. I need to order some more Lost Vape pods. That's what I need to do. I didn't finish my beer, so let's do that now. Ah, oh, the trooper. Fuck yeah, trooper. Fuck yeah, vlog. Fuck yeah, you guys. It's been a great night. I really appreciate everybody coming out, hanging out, and doing the vlog with me. And I'll see you back here next week. I guess, uh, shit, man. I guess that's all I got. I guess that's all I got. I'll say this one more time for the kids in the back. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And as always, even if it's black licorice culotta, let's keep on vaping, fam. <laughs>